Hi everyone, my name is Joel Silva and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Let's talk about versioning with workflows. First, we need to open a workflow already published in Gallery. And to do that, we just need to click here on File, Open Workflow, and then select the Gallery. So let's open this workflow. And then let's make a small change on it to create a new version. To do that, we will just put a search tool here to order the field name by ascending. And right now we need just to save. Let's click on file and save. We will maintain all the previous configurations and then click on save button. As you and other gallery users who have access to our workflow make edits and updates to a workflow, these changes are versioned. You can access the workflow version history from the workflow details page by selecting the version link next to the latest or published. So let's do that. Let's click on view in browser. We need to log in using our Windows credentials. And then we just need to click here or here. These are the links. On the version history screen, you can view all workflow versions saved by all users who have access to the workflow. From here, you can publish a workflow version or run a selected version. The workflow with the P icon is the published workflow. If you want to make a node version to be the published version, just click on the version and then in make published version. So what's the difference between latest and published versions? The workflow version that you use it when you select run, download or schedule on the workflow details page depends on whether you are the workflow owner. For workflows that you own, that is, workflows in your private studio, the run, schedule and download buttons point to the latest version of the workflow, regardless of whether it is published version. For workflows that you don't own, the run, schedule and download buttons point to the published version. The idea is that, as the owner of the workflow, you would want to run the most recent version for development and testing purpose. If you want to run a different version of the workflow, you can do so from the version history screen by clicking on Run Selected Version. Just like that. have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.